Okay. Today, I'm about to do something you should not do at home, and I do not recommend you do it either. I'm a scientist. This is what I do. Let's do science. All right, three, two, one, go. I'm a scientist. Oh, God, it hurts. This tastes terrible. Science. Gamers today, in our current socioeconomic climate, the average millennial is $1.7 trillion in debt. Okay? That's our goal. $1.7 trillion. Ugh. We, today, are looking to solve the crisis. <laughs> so a few rules we've set out. As always in pseudoscience, one of the rules, uh, no time machines. We can't f*** with the temporal placement of the universe. <clears throat> it just wouldn't work out. But what we can do is figure out how to solve it. So what we're going to do first, in the first phase, phase one, research. <laughs> Today we're gonna try and solve student debt. Let's see who's in charge of student debt. Who's the guy who runs student debt? Student loans in America. Okay, okay. In the student, okay, so we have 1.7 trillion dollars owed by all students everywhere. In this research phase, we need to find who's responsible. And it looks like the Department of Education is responsible. The Department of Education was signed in by Jenny Carter? Is he alive? Oh, don't look at that. I don't play, I don't play that game. Shut up. He's 96 years old, he's still alive! <laughs> Jimmy Carter's still chugging! Let's go ahead and get this sorted. First person we're gonna blame. The blame category is gonna be Jimmy Carter. Okay, so we have Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is still alive, that's a good sign. But I don't think Jimmy Carter- Oh my god. He looks like a wizard. Okay, so Jimmy Carter is is still alive, but he's not in charge anymore, so we can't really do much with that. But we could maybe use- but we do know he's to blame, so we can use him at some point. He should be punished. How do people make money? If we did a charity drive, could we do a charity drive big enough? I, I'm curious though, if I ate like half a pound of dirt for $600... No. No, I didn't do that for charity. How much has- how much has the biggest charity made? That's a great question. Uh, okay, it looks like we're getting it, uh, basically somewhere in the range of 50 billion. How many, fi how many 50s go into a trillion? So we would need, th oh fuck, <laughs> 34 x 50 bill. This is our goal. This is our goal. This is what we're after. So we need, we need to raise the 50 billion of an average charity fundraiser 34 times. That should be easy for us. Before we raise money, how do we pay off debts? Okay, that raises a fundamental issue we need to address. Okay, cloning Jeff Bezos several times doesn't clone his bank account. Don't be stupid. Oh, someone says, so like, debt collectors have all this stuff packaged up and you pay off the debt collector, so they have 10k of debt. In my case, um, oh, 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 we might have a reduction there. What would be 1.7 trillion divided by 10? Okay, 170 billion, that's no big deal. That's doable, oh fuck this number. Who actually owns student loan debt? We have to buy the debt off of Joe. Let's look up, let's look at the, the highest charity, uh, GoFundMe. What the fuck? Oh, that's a, no, that's a GoFundMe. We don't want that. We want to appease the big shots. I want to suck the skin off Jeff Bezos' hog. So, we have a moral choice. We have a moral decision to make, okay? We can either A, we can choose to appease the bees, or we can try and do this through other means. But I think the bees is an easy shot. Because, I mean, like, the bees is giving out 50 billions like it's nothing. And we can make a mark on that. So we have to hit Bezos, his wife, and Elon Musk at the same time. How do we do that? Just cancel money? It... Be realistic here, man! I'm trying to f fuck Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and his ex-wife at the same time. And then divorce all three of them. So how do we get the three of these people in a rom-com situation where I- Does Jeff Bezos smoke weed? Does Jeff Bezos smoke weed? The truth come out. 
do Grimes and Elon Musk smoke weed? We know they can smoke weed. Oh, fuck Grimes. We have to get Grimes out of the country. Hear me out. We create a concert tour, a charity concert tour. Grimes loves that performative bullshit. Let's see if she's on tour right now. No, she's not on tour right now. Okay, here's what we do. We take Grimes and we set her up on a charity tour through Africa, which might make us some money. Maybe in the South Africa region it might make some money because of the Elon Musk connection. Doesn't matter, that's not what we're here for. We're just trying to get out of the country so I can fuck Elon Musk. In that time frame, I introduce Elon Musk to dabs. And we do dabs together and we like laying out and I'll, I'll bring like Trivial Pursuit conversation topics that he thinks are fake deep. Like I know how to, I know how to make this man hit. I know how to make this man bang. This man, I can make this man come. Then we introduce the concept. And that's where Bezos gets jealous. Elon Musk is easy. He's easy. I can get that man's cock of vice. Well, Grimes is there in the other countries. I'm hanging out with Elon Musk. I'm making recordings of us hanging out. I'm talking to her the whole time. I'm talking about the synthesizers. I'm talking about music. I'd have to go to college. I'd have to get a music degree. I'd have to understand how synthesizers work. I'd have to get a loan. Oh God, how would I bring them together? What's the event? Like, how can I make all four of these people at the end of the day? Bezos is such a motherfucker. He's so unlikable. How the fuck do I get Mackenzie Scott, Elon Musk, Grimes, and me full tongue in one big writhing mess? It won't be easy. We do it in the melody. This is what ABBA was made to do. We get ABBA, we build the melody track, right? The way we run it. We go, knowing me, knowing you, that gets them in their feelings, right? That gets them, but it's like not too bad. He probably doesn't like ABBA. He probably doesn't like ABBA. Where did he? Jorgensen? Okay. Um, Jorgensen here is, where was he from? Where is he from? Where is he from? Denmark! This motherfucker might like ABBA. Jeff Bezos, ABBA, ABBA. There's nothing on the internet about Jeff Bezos liking ABBA. How do you make a man with everything fall in love? Good pussy. I'd have to fuck him, and I'd have to fuck him good. I'd have to fuck that man so good he was addicted. That will be difficult. I do not want to be that. What is Jeff Bezos' type? How do we get Bezos to fall in love with us? He married a novelist, and then he married a... Oh, Mackenzie is the only one he's ever been married to? And she's a novelist. He probably likes them when they're like philosophically like... He likes them when they're like, you're intelligent. So maybe I have to write a book. I was really stumped, guys. I don't know how to make Jeff Bezos fall in love with me. We're like, I'm on the cusp here. We're so close. That's the point of this, Mick. Grow up, bro. We're fucking our way to America's freedom. Maybe I can like... <gasps> Why the fuck am I playing nice with Bezos? You're right, Mick. Blackmail! Fun stuff! You got it! You know what the fuck is up? Okay, okay. We don't need Jeff Bezos' natural compulsion. We already found out here, he sent a cease and desist to somebody. The National Enquirer, right? Because with Lauren Sanchez. So, we only need her on our side, huh? She's a musical, what the fuck is Lauren Sanchez? Oh, she's a news anchor. Oh, she's also from Albuquerque. I'm pretty close to Albuquerque. Okay, we blackmail Lauren Sanchez. We do that, we probably can do that pretty easily. She's still on the up and up. She's not married to Jeff Bezos. She doesn't stand to lose as much. She was in Fantastic Four, The Rise of Silver Surfer as a Fox News reporter. Jesus, but we need another route. Jeff Bezos has three children. One of those children, he adopted from China. He is fucked up, but I'm playing dirty. If we implicated his daughter in a national spying as a, like, a plant by the Chinese government, with Jeff Bezos' power and the hold, we might be able to make him double think of this. This is fucked up, by the way. I recognize this is fucked up, but, like, I'm trying to save $1.7 trillion worth of millennial debt here. We implicate his daughter as a Chinese spy. In doing so, we blackmail him. I'm gonna pull up his little face, his stupid fucking face. Look at you, you stupid idiot. Once we have him fully implicated and he's too afraid to go to the US government, he could try, he's rich enough he could try to hire a hitman on me. But if he did so, he'd be breaking the heart of his ex wife And then Elon Musk would tweet about it. All right, let's do a categorization here. I think we're approaching a, a grand climax here. If this is being shown in a court someday, I just want to, first of all, shout out to you, handsome guy in the front stall, I'm talking to you, myself. Hey, what's up? And secondly, pee pee doo doo, uh, piss piss, cum cum, haha, <laughs> fuck you guys. Okay. This is a pretty three, easy three-step plan. 
This is the final plan. This is our like boss fight. At the ABBA concert, we make out with Elon, we serenade Scott and Grimes. In this time frame, I get them into this like thropple marriage thing. Grimes is into it. Elon Musk doesn't care. And Mackenzie Scott, she's having a midlife crisis probably, so she's into it, right? And then we implicate Jeff Bezos with the Chinese government, which would probably realistically make him an enemy in every single state or every single country on the planet because he'd be both hated by the Chinese government and the American government. Oh my god, Jeff Bezos owns Twitch, doesn't he? Great. Okay, we're good. We're safe. Okay, so now that we have all this, this is our final poll. This gets us for the throuple marriage, okay? So I'm gonna lay this plan out in like four easy steps, okay? Here's what it is. Step one, dabs with Elon. Step two, Grimes charity tour. Step three, Scott midlife crisis. And then four, implicates Jeff. Four step plan. That's how we solve student debt. This is like our end goal here. Or I guess our end goal here is five, divorce. D okay, Grimes goes to China. She goes on a charity tour. Dabs with Elon the entire time. I'm learning the synthesizer. He's tweeting about me and the situation we're having in a sort of vague manner. He's stealing my jokes. I'm sending videos to Grimes because I'm getting to know the couple. I go on like a book tour and I ask Mackenzie Scott for some advice and some help with our situation. And I, I, and I sort of pool boy it where I come over and I'm like, I'm wearing the turtleneck. I've got some glasses. My hair's back like this. We like bond and we like smoke cigarettes, but she doesn't really smoke much. And we talk about our lives and we drink with the wine brand that I like from this like little vineyard outside LA. Then we implicate Jeff Bezos with the Chinese government through his adopted Chinese daughter who he adopted from China. It is fucked up, but Jeff Bezos is not gonna fuck me. Nothing I can do is gonna make G Bo Jeff B G old JB ain't gonna be in on that BJ, you know what I'm saying? While Grimes is on tour, we implicate his daughter as a plant by the Chinese government through Jeff Bezos. We blackmail him with this information. He's too afraid to go to the legal system. And then if he does, we alert, well, basically, if we alerted them, we'd basically create public enemies out of the richest man in both China and America, which is, in terms of influence zones, the entire world. So he doesn't fuck around with me because I'm gonna fuck his life up. I'm trying to save all of America here from $1.7 trillion of student debt. And then, because of this, I make them all marry me. These three, I don't love. I might feel something for them at some point, you know? Elon Musk is a bit of a frat boy, but who doesn't love a himbo? Grimes, we'll do it. Mackenzie Scott, I might feel something. And then I divorce them and we pay $1.7 trillion. All of these combined funds from these four richest people in America, divided in half, given directly to me, I leave them in their shitty little rare situation. Good luck to them. And then I pay off $1.7 trillion. Wait a second. I don't think the math adds up. I don't think they have enough money. That's $198.6 billion. Oh, that's looking good though. Uh, maybe not good enough. Plus 167.53 million? Give her a fucking allowance, bro. And then Mackenzie Scott net worth. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, don't look at that, by the way. Don't look at that. Plus eight. Which means we're still, oh my god, a trillion dollars is so much money. How do we raise the rest of that money? What if we buy the schools with it? Cost of buying Harvard University. <laughs> Can you buy your way into Harvard? No. Cost of a college. I don't give a shit about- Okay, how much- How much is Harvard worth? We have 374 billion dollars. We would minus 38.3, leaving us with 335.7 billion dollars. We've got options. We forgot. We're buying loans. That's uh, 1.77. Yes. Uh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We got it. We have another hundred. If we bought the loans at a tenth of a price from a typical bond buyer, we would have more than enough for double. I could pay off the medical debt too. I'm just going to save the world.